Well, in case you're planning to make some improvements to your home this summer, we have a little help for you. No, we're not going to hold the ladder, but Daddy Dina Mall does have some DIY ideas that will give you lots of bang for your buck. We all want to spruce up our houses, but we know there's always a chance that something can go hideously wrong. That maybe something breaks, maybe there's a pipe in the wall you weren't expecting, and all of a sudden you need to involve the professionals and the costs go up. Christina Pernfors, an image and interior stylist, shares three simple, quick home improvement tips that don't require power tools or expert skill levels. For starters, get a handle on things. Well, think about it. You know, most kitchen cabinets today look very similar. We've seen a lot of the white cabinets or the light colored shaker style doors. Whether you're talking wood or paint, there's a quick, easy way to level them up. Adding a little jewels, I call them, but adding your own personal touch to the handles, you really make it your own. There are a ton of options out there. Bold, delicate, ornate, sleek. And they come in all price categories. They can start as low as $3 and go all the way up to $30, $40. Start by counting the number of doors and drawers you have. Then figure out your budget. To see how much can you afford and what are you willing to do for each of the knobs and handles. Next, let there be light. There are three main basic categories with lighting. Overall lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting. And this is where I see most people go wrong. They miss out on the accent lighting. Accent lighting can not only fill in shadows created by overhead lights, it can add layers. So layering means different heights in the room. You can start on the floor with a basket light. Then layering up, you could do a table lamp like this, something fun, a little funky. Then add things like electric candles for shelves and nooks. The light brings the eye up, creates drama, and can also make the room seem a lot larger than it is. Finally, cut and paste. When you think of wallpaper, you don't necessarily always have to think of the walls. Use it in places like inside cupboards or the back of bookshelves to add depth and color. Traditional wallpaper is really beautiful, but it does take time. For these small projects, she suggests self-adhesive wallpaper. All you need, a pair of scissors and a vivid imagination. Dress up your digs DIY style.